Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another month of the Dolphin Saga, I guess, for Z3. So, well, let's get right into it. Uh, oops, I haven't tabbed back uh, the game yet. So, uh, this is one my account looks like. I did roll for Caesar, and I did get her. So there she is. Uh, I'm more looking forward to Bernice, though. She should be out in two weeks. How much time do we have left on Caesar's gotcha banner? Uh, 11 days, so yeah, a week and a half. So yeah, I'll build, I'll probably build Caesar after uh, I pick up Bernice and build her first, because I'm more looking forward to her than I am Caesar. Then, especially because I already have a pretty good physical character in Jane, uh, whereas I don't have a max level fire character yet. My only viable fire character is Soldier 11, um, and I don't have Ben leveled up, and Lucy's a support, so... Not exactly a DPS. Actually, I don't even know if Ben is like a straight DPS either. He's probably like a sub DPS. I don't know. To be honest with you, I have I have like half an idea of what the fuck I'm doing. In, I'm what the fuck I'm even doing in this game. Uh, but hey, I managed to uh, S7. What do people call max clearing uh, Shiu defense in this game again? Do they call it S7 or or what? Um, and when I say S7, it's it's when I it's it refer, I'm trying to refer to how you get S ranks on all seven uh, Shiu defense nodes, all seven uh, critical nodes, which is the the ones that reset uh, every two weeks. Every two weeks, kind of like um, OG Spiral Abyss and Genshin. So, but yeah, uh, this is my core roster for now. The top six you see up here, everyone that's level sixty. Um, so yeah, those will be Ellen, Grace, Zhu Yuan, uh, Ching Yi, Jane, and Nicole. Um, yeah, these six I max invested into, or invested into heavily to get me through Shiyu defense, and on, I remember the date explicitly, for some reason, but I managed to S7 the uh, Shiyu defense critical nodes uh, for the first time on September 21st, I think, yeah. The previous um, Shiu defense cycle, so did it. Well, got the job done with these six. So let's check it out here real quick. Uh, I've got Ellen first up. Um, these are stats, decent, I guess. I have no idea what like the benchmark is for like decent uh, crit stats or just decent stats in general uh, for this game. I want to say this is pretty good, but then again, I have again I have no idea. So, level 60 Ellen, uh, by the way, max, uh, max character level in this game is, is 60. Uh, these are skills, technically her skills could be better, now that I think about it. And I haven't exactly been working on upgrading these, their core skills. I think everybody should at least have the first three core skills uh, leveled up. Uh, I haven't actually, I haven't bothered getting them past them, that, uh, past that though, with maybe the exception of Nicole. Um, I think I have Chingy up to uh, D rank of her cores, but I have to check again. But these are what her skills look like. And then she's got a level 60 um, battle pass um, W engine. The one that's from the attack specialty. Because it gives her extra crit rate. Um, I, should, I should probably specify now that um, I've decided not to roll for just to save money. Uh, I decided not to roll for any exclusive uh, W engines. Uh, I'll just give my characters whatever I have. Uh, seems to be working out pretty well, thank God. So yeah, she's got an A rank uh, engine from Battle Pass, like I said. Right, she's on two piece um, woodpecker and then four piece metal, uh, polar metal. Uh, ice set basically, and then extra eight percent crit rate, which is cool. Which is cool. Let's see. And uh, she's rocking what four, uh, level fifteen S rank, um, disc drives, I guess. And these two are only A rank, mainly because uh, these two only give her like defensive stats. As, at least as far as their main stats are concerned, obviously. They could obviously get better substats, but I'm not, I wasn't exactly looking for those at the moment. Though I do think I could probably switch out this one. 
probably have something better. Uh, actually, eh, scratch that. I don't at the moment. Maybe I could poach one of them from like, I don't know, Sokaku or or uh, Lycaon. Because I'm, I'm not really using them really hard right now. So I could probably maybe take one of the one one of these, and then see if I can't give Ellen some better crit stats at the very least. But these are what her engines look or her disk drives look uh, look like. Obviously not the best. I wasn't exactly focusing on like min maxing stats at the at the moment. And hey, I was I was able to fully clear uh, Shiyu defense. So I mean, hey, this is close to being good no good enough to be fair. Anyways, but that's Ellen, though. Uh, next up, Grace. Go back to her base stats. Um, she it seems like she scales off of pen ratio, so that's what I've concentrated on giving her. As you can see here. Also level 60. These are her skills. And then what she's working with. Since she scales off of pen ratio, um, I'm considering switching her fourth d disc drive to crit rate. Because, like, why the hell not at that point? Because, like, it does, it's not like she needs anything from anything, needs anything else. She might have to scale with attack percent, maybe? So maybe actually keeping her as attack percent would be a better idea. I'd have to check. Nah. According to her core skill, she only scales off of um, pen ratio. I have no idea what pen ratio does in this game. No fucking clue. Like, I assume that stats like Anomaly Mastery and Anomaly Proficiency, like, control, like, how well, um, like, enemies, or how, how much, like, debuff, quote-unquote, um, how, how much debuffs, like, affect enemies. Uh, or I suppose it it basically increases the rate at which enemies like receive like shit like assault and um, like the elemental debuffs that kind of thing, which is why Jane scales off of uh, anomaly mastery and anomaly proficiency and shit like that. Uh, so that way she gets to apply assault um, faster or yeah, trigger the assault uh, effect on enemies she's attacking faster. But pen ratio, I have no idea what the fuck that does. <laughs> So, feel free to uh, let me know, let me know in the comments as to what the fuck that does, or maybe I'll look it up on my own one day. You gonna learn today? But in any case, um, so yeah, there you go. I do kind of wonder if she scales off of attack anywhere. It doesn't seem like it, but then again, I could be wrong. So maybe I'll switch uh, Rena's uh, fourth drive to something like crit rate or something. Uh, in any case, uh, I also realize she's on four-piece anomaly. That should be wrong. You can tell that this is kind of an old set on her. Uh, I believe we should have a dedicated pen ratio. Yeah, it's called Puffer, Puffer Electro. Yeah, so I should probably switch this to Puffer Electro set. And then go for um, full four-piece Puffer Electro or something like that. And since she doesn't scale off of like attack percent like Lucy does, I guess her sticking her on um, two piece uh, thunder or two piece elect electric set, whatever this is called, uh, thunder metal uh, is fine, I suppose. So yeah, definitely gonna have to think about switching her to a new set here. I know I did farm uh, the puffer electro set, uh, uh, the puffer electro node. The routine cleanup note a little bit, so I should have a couple, but obviously not a lot. Let's see, this one's nice. This one's got pen ratio. Over here, yeah, this one's also got pen ratio, so that's good. Don't think I saw any for uh, set one, though I do have some A ranks. That could be okay for the time being. Yeah, this one's perfect. Attack percent, pen ratio, crit rate. This sounds good to me. And we have impact here. I have no idea if impact is what we what, what she really wants. Ideally, I'd rather I'd like to give her like attack percent just so that you know I can min max her damage. Because I think attack percent is the only well aside from an impact. Assuming impact is considered an offensive stat, but again, she doesn't scale off of impact. So what the fuck does she care? 
but yeah. Gonna have to see if I can give her like an attack percent thing somewhere. Preferably a uh, an S rank as well, because at the gap between S rank and A rank at the the max main stat they think that they can get is pretty big actually, because I believe as you can see here, an A rank uh, plus twelve disc drive only gives you twenty percent attack, whereas at uh, what is it with the with an S rank disc drive, uh, the attack the main attack stat becomes thirty percent at plus fifteen, and obviously that's a pretty huge difference. <laughs> like, needless to say, yeah. So you can see here with Ellen's um, rank 6 or slot 6 uh, thingy here. Slot 6 drive. And her main attack, uh, main, the, its main stat is attack percent. Yeah, so it's 30% whereas this is only 20%. So Yeah, kind of a big difference. So yeah, I'm going to have to see if I can switch Rena's um, sets around real quick. Pretty important too, for a reason I'll mention later at the, towards the end of this video. But this is work, what she's working with for now. Uh, level 60 Weeping, weeping cr uh, Cradle. I think I've already mentioned this before, but I picked this up from my standard banner rules. Got pretty lucky uh, that I got what I needed for Rena, So it's on her. And that's Rena for the time being. Zhu Yuan, here you go. Alright, she's, uh, she's our... I think we only have two Ether characters, right? Or two characters that do Ether damage. Uh, Zhu Yuan and Nicole, so... They're obviously very important, especially considering how many Shiyu defense nodes have enemies that are weak to Ether, so... If you didn't roll Zhu Yuan, oof, you are kind of fucked. But in any case, uh, these are stats... A uh, reason why her crit rate is so low is because her core skill, I think, is it her core skill or is it something else? Maybe it's maybe it's something else. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's something. Uh, I, I guess it's here. Yeah, it's her. Yeah, core skill, additional ability or whatever. Yeah, so her additional ability says that her crit rate increases by 30% for 10 seconds after using an EX uh, chain attack or ult. Uh, as long as she has either another uh, a separate support character or somebody from her same faction, so any anybody from uh, the pubsec police force, so like Ching Yi or I assume Jane Doe counts too because she's technically part of the force, or technically part of pubsec, technically. Um, so yeah, that's why my Zhu Yuan's crit rate, uh, base crit rate is so low, uh, because she'll get. An extra 30% crit rate, so I should bump her up to like 51% or something. Um, ideally, she should have like, I want her to have like 60%, but this is good enough for now. But that'll explain that stat line. These are skills and whatnot. And then I have given her just a regular Starlight Engine. I believe I you can get this from Gacha and from uh, the Gadget Box store. I believe they sell copies of Starlight Engine, uh, which is nice because uh, you don't have a very big selection of um, attack percent main stat, uh, or I should say uh, attack specialty, this one right here, um, engines. So it's like one of the two or three options, and I think Starlight Engine is the best one, I think, or the most generalist one. The other ones are a little bit more specific. So yeah. But she's got at level 60. She's got two-piece, uh, just like uh, El on Ellen, she's also got her own two-piece Woodpecker Electro for extra crit rate. And obviously four-piece Aether as her main uh, disc drive set. And individually, these are her stats. Or the st stats she's getting from her disc drives. Obviously could do a lot better on crit stats, but you know. Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> but yeah, that's my Zhou Yuan. Uh, let's see. I guess I don't need to show you show you their um, constellations or cinema levels because it says it says it down right here at the bottom left. Like everybody's at C C um, zero except for Rena. She's at C one. I don't even remember when I got the extra copy of her. Actually, what does she even do at C one? I should probably pay attention to that. 
uh, stay in place. Buff gained uh, is increased to 130%. Okay, well, I have no idea what that means. Moving on. Ching Yi. Uh, let's see. She is our stunner, or she's a stunner, I should say. And she scales off of impact. She's got some crit stats. Obviously not great, but... Actually, I don't even know how use I don't know how relevant crit stats are on, on a character that scales with impact. Also, what does impact even do? <laughs> does it just I I would assume impact just helps characters stun better, which would make sense because Chingy is a stunner. So yeah, I assume that's what that means. Not to mention, I think her uh, I think the this set the Shock Star Disco, uh, which is the impact set, uh, the four piece set. Gives uh, uh, lets gives you twenty percent more days uh, when you use these moves. So yeah, that would make sense. In any case, these are her stats. These are her skills. And then lastly, uh, I have my Chingy on a more offensive build. As you can see here, she's got like crit rate and shit like that. Even though her crit stats are fucking awful. Um, I have no idea if that's how she's meant to be built. Uh, if you can use her for damage or if you just want to go all in on impact and just give her four piece uh, shock star disco and maybe two piece uh, thunder or thunder metal uh, maybe just go the other way uh, I will eventually uh, compare my builds to like a, a z3 like uh, helper sprite sheet or something hopefully there's one out there because uh, I know there are helper sprite sheets uh, that give you like uh, proper builds and stuff for every character in the game for like Genshin and Star Rail, so I would assume there's one for Z3 as well. I just haven't found it yet. But in any case, this is what she's working with for now. And also her W engine. Uh, she's using Hellfire Gears. I believe this is for Kalita, um, because I believe Kalita is also a fire impact character or fire stunner character. So yeah, this is this is meant to be her signature, but at the moment, as you can tell here, I don't have Kolita. So for the time being, my Chingy will be using her signature. Uh, I don't even know if this is even that relevant on Chingy. I'm just using it just because. So as you can see here, it's not like I have a very wide selection of you know other stunning, uh, stun specialty engines. So might as well use it. But that's Chingy. Jane, here we go. So, anomaly physical, uh, scales off attack, and obviously anomaly for proficiency. These are her skills, and this is her. This is her gear that she's working with. Uh, four piece, freedom blues makes sense on her actually. And then two piece physical, just for some extra damage, I suppose. And obviously anomaly proficiency here. Anomaly Mastery. I have no idea what the difference between uh, AP and uh, AM are. Just to, you know, shorten them or contract them. No idea what the fuck they're, like, what the difference between those two are. But I assume, I assume if you, if you have a character who's, like, an Anomaly character, uh, who's Anomaly, you're supposed to give them Anomaly Mastery and Anomaly Proficiency on their 4 and 6 slots. So, there you go. So because of that, obviously, they don't really care about crit stats much, which, hey, I'm, I'm fine with. And it seems like getting anomal AP stats, uh, substats, is pretty simple, or it's pretty common. So, hey, building Jane was uh, quite nice, I'll tell you that much. At least we don't have to mauled over crit stats like we have been for the last three fucking MiHoYo games. So thank God for Jane Doe. Uh, her W engine is the one you get from Battle Pass. Specifically picked up I uh, picked up one for her, I think, from the second one. Second or third battle pass. I forget how many battle passes we've had in Z3 so far. Maybe like three or four. I want to say three. Maybe four. Actually, no, three. Because 1.0, we're on 1.2 right now, I think. Yeah. So 1.0, 1.0, 1.1, 1 1.2. Yeah, so we're on, our we're, on our, we're on our third battle pass. But yeah, she's balling. Love my, love me some, uh, love me a big titty, big ass rat. Call me the rat fucker. Anyways, uh, rat fucker aside, uh, here's my favorite character. In case you get, in case you guys didn't know, 
um, Nicole. Uh, because as I mentioned many times on stream, I seem to have a thing for pink hair, big titty anime gotcha girls. And guess what? <laughs> guess what? Would you look at that? Hmm. Clear clearly, uh, Mihoyo was uh, was spying on my stream while they were developing Z3. Keck W. Anyways. Uh, she scales off energy region. Makes sense because she's a support. Ether support. And she's free. And uh, yeah, can you tell that I've been uh, giving Nicole some VIP treatment? Hmm. I wonder what ga gives it away. But in any case... Uh, her core enhancement, core skill enhancements, enhancements are all maxed out. I believe this is maxed out because it's not like you can actually improve the core skill itself. I don't think. Well, it does. To be fair, it does say how do we how do you fucking exit out of this? Um, to be fair, it does say level seven. Uh, so I'm not sure if you can actually uh, directly increase that, increase the level. Maybe only through um cinemas or something. I don't know. But all of her core skill enhancement nodes are leveled up. As you can see here. And then her skills are the most leveled out of any character that I have. Um, I believe you can level skills all the way up to 16, which is ridiculous. Like, what the fuck? I don't even know. <laughs> Why do skills have this this many levels? Jesus. I mean, even in uh, Star Rail and Genshin, they only go... Technically, their base, st their base ranks only go up to 10. So, like, this one goes all, up to, all the way up to, like... 14 or 16 i think technically it's 14 because i think you can re they can reach 16 uh with cinemas without cinemas i think they only go up to like 13 or 14 but like still why <laughs> but it is what it is i guess but in any case uh i will continue working on maxing out uh nicole get her get all of her skills to max level and this is the gear she's working with, naturally. Four piece, um, which one calls it? Uh, four piece swing jazz, which is the energy regen set. And then, uh, obviously, because she's ether, two piece polar star. Uh, polar, polar star? No, polar star is ice. Um, this is what's called chaotic metal. So, yeah. There you go. And individually, these are her stats. <laughs> obviously, she just doesn't care about crit stats because. She's a support, so... Unfortunate that she got double crit here, but, you know, hey. I suppose it was good that none of her none of her stats rolled into crit stats, I guess. <laughs> In any case, uh, I believe the vault is her specific four-star uh, signature W engine, which is kind of, which is kind of funny that uh, Mihoyo even bothered giving the four-stars their own signature... Um, uh, engines actually because I believe they did it for all the four star characters because I know obviously Nicole has vault uh, and B has the Damara, Damara battery mark 2 which is her signature uh, Sokaku is this one the bashful demon um, and obviously Lucy's is the kaboom the, uh, the kaboom cannon um, so I'm, I'm under the impression that Mihoyo actually gave all characters in this game not just five stars like they usually only do for you know star rail and Genshin uh, in this game, it seems like everybody has their own um, signature engine, which is cool to see. Very cool to see. Give, show the uh, a rank character some love, too. The 4-star some love, too, you know? So, yeah. She's at um, Refinement 3. What are refinements called in this game? I don't even fucking know. Enhance. Uh, let's see. Update. <laughs> So I suppose you would call them U3, I guess. <laughs> but in any case, the more vault ba uh, vault copies I get, the I'm immediately feeding him into this one. But yeah, my Nicole is definitely the most pimped out character on my on my account. She's at C5. Unfortunately, she's not quite C6 yet, so I'm gonna have to pray for another raid up with her on it, or pray for like a random ass spook at some point. Hey, maybe they'll even give us a free copy of Nicole at some point. Who knows? Let's see. All squad members' uh, crit rate uh, against that enemy increases by 1.5 a time of 1.5 percent stacking up to 10 times, lasting uh, for 12 seconds. That's pretty good, actually. So yeah, would love to have that uh, C6. Would go very well with um, Zhu Yuan because I pair 
uh, Nicole with Zhuyuan a lot because they're both ether and obviously they're both they're both going to be very useful in um, anti ether nodes or nodes or fights where enemies are weak to ether. And not only that, but as I mentioned before, Zhu Yuan has that synergy thanks to her core skill uh, with support characters where she gets extra, what, 30% crit rate. So if my Nicole, if I can get my Nicole to C6, then that's another 15%, potentially 15% extra crit rate for my Zhu Yuan to get right there too. So her crit rate goes from like, what, 20 something percent all the way up to 50% with her core skill and another 15%. So that means it'll be up to like 65, 66 crit rate. Um, with everything combined. That's cool. But yeah, there's Nicole. Uh, I don't think I need to go over anybody else. Uh, I haven't really been investing in anybody else in the meantime, to be honest. Uh, and I probably won't be able to do so for the near future, because uh, I'm saving everything, most everything I have. If it's not resources that that's, I'm like allocating to my my core six characters up here, like for example, leveling up Qingyi's skills, or leveling up leveling up Zhu Yuan's skills, all the other resources that I'm currently uh, saving up, it's gonna be for Bernie's, uh, because one, she's fucking hot. Two, she has huge tits uh, and with blonde hair. Uh, and three, I kind of need her for Shiyu, Shiyu defense and uh, the other uh, Shiyu defense. The the new Shiyu ambush node, I think. Uh, I've been able to S rank all the first four of the new ambush uh, set of nodes. Uh, the last one, I'm not even going to bother touching uh, because I think both of them need both fire and physical characters. And obviously, I only have one viable physical character in Jane. Um, and I currently, I don't really have I would what I would consider to be a viable fire character. I would have leveled up Soldier 11 and Lucy if uh, Bernice weren't a thing. But she is, so, you know, fuck these two. Um, I'm going all out on Bernice. Well, spe specifically, fuck Soldier 11 for now. Um, maybe also level up Lucy anyway, because she Lucy, I believe Lucy is our only, like, straight-up attack buffer. Uh, I, I think. We might have another one or two. I just don't know who they would be. <laughs> um, I was gonna say Piper, but I, I remember how Piper plays, and I'm like, eh, just, she's not a support, I don't think. I mean, hell, we can even check right here. No, she's Anomaly, so she's kind of like, what, uh, budget Jane, I guess. I mean, they both spin to win, so kind of makes sense. Actually, do, does Jane spin the win? I guess, I guess technically she does. Technically. But in any case. Uh, I think Nekomata was attacker, right? Yeah, she's an attacker, so technically she has a different role. Other than that. Um, so yeah, those are the characters for now. And then, obviously, Caesar's new. I really like how Caesar plays. Basically, she's like the beta of this game. The yeah, the Beto or Yun, uh, Yunjin of this game from Genshin because her skill basically behaves the exact same as the others. Almost exact. It's just a lot easier to, to use, actually, just because, you know, oh, enemies in Z3 give you a big-ass attack indicator of whenever, whenever they're gonna about to, they're about to fucking slap your ass most of the time. Some enemies have sneaky-ass attacks, though. Fuck those guys. But, you know, as long as not those things, um, you know, see as you can just bust out her skill and fucking parry counter. Which is really really cool uh, so yeah I would love to level up uh, Caesar and actually use her properly um, but uh, not now gotta invest into Bernice soon um, <laughs> as somebody who studied who studied like three or four year four years of Latin back in high school uh, I appreciate all of the Roman references in Caesar's design most of uh, the most notable of which is obviously her sword her gladius I think it's called uh, the ro the actual Latin name, basically stands for I think, short sword. Or it it means short sword. Maybe it just means sword in general. Yeah, it probably just means just any sword in general. Uh, but yeah, the way that her uh, sword is, her gladius is shaped. It's very reminiscent of actual real life uh, Roman gladii, or gladia, gladii, whatever the plural form of gladius is. Gladius, Gladii. Yeah, probably Gladii. And then she's got the whole shield aesthetic, too. Glad to see that, you know, we have a swordsman or swordswoman in this case uh, archetype that actually bothers using a sword because, you know, most sword users don't bother carrying one. But hey, here we go. 
Oh, I'm sure, and I'm sure we're gonna get our uh, sword-only character in uh, Miyabi, who's basically the Ayaka of this game. So, there you go. But anyways, yeah, other than that, she has huge tits, which is obviously a, a huge bonus in my books. Um, yeah, her tits are fucking huge. Now that I think, now that I think about it, yeah. Like, Rina is stacked, Caesar is stacked, I, I would assume Jane is stacked. She's probably slightly smaller than these two. It's kind of hard to tell, just kind of her jacket. Maybe if we get some modders to, like, take off her jacket, we can actually see how uh, big her titties are. Maybe she's the same size as, uh, as Zhu Yuan, I don't know. But her tits are fucking massive. Gotta be about the same size as Rina's. Okay, enough of the uh, the boob talk. Enough being horny for for one day. But uh, yeah, those are my plans for character so far. Okay, last thing I'll talk about here is my uh, HIA. Oh, not HIA. <laughs> Teleported to the exact same place. Uh, wrong areas. Now go to Scott Outpost. Show you my progress on um, Scott Outpost and stuff like that. Let's start with um, Hollow Zero. Uh, so I have unlocked the throne mode now. Uh, I haven't actually delved too deeply into it. Matter of fact, I haven't really touched um, uh, Seed Bed or Withering Garden that much either. Like, I've dabbled in it a couple times, so I've, as you can see here. But obviously, I haven't gotten all of the, uh, the difficulties unlocked yet. I'll probably get that done by, like, next week or so, because... Uh, I do need to farm this a couple more times to get all of the combat configurations updated. Uh, I think these two are the last ones I need, and these cost, like, the blue currency. And let's see. Yeah, Withering Garden or Old Capital Metro, so. So, yeah, at that point, I might as well just farm uh, Withering Garden. Kind of annoying to get through, because enemies uh, hit really hard. The more difficulty, the more um, of these things they uh, that you put on, whatever these are called. Risks, because <laughs> I'm an Ark Knights player. But, uh, yeah, that's my progress on that. Nice of uh, Mihoyo to give a, to expand the levels here. Because I believe the on the previous patch, uh, we stopped at level 60. But then with this, with 1.2, uh, they've expanded the, um, the license level all the way up to 90. So, more, more rewards. Can't, ever, can't really say no to that now, can we? But then, yeah, we'll have to... I'll have to come back to Inferno Reap and try to get a better score on it. Because I did do it once, as you can tell here. But, um... Or actually, can you tell? I don't... Oh, yeah, you can. Because you, you can see that I've gotten a couple of things knocked out here. But, yeah, definitely going to have to come back to it with a stronger team in the future. Knock that out. Alright, besides that... Let's talk to Ray. See our progress here. I'm only at 45%. Need a lot more shit to uh, uncover and find and whatnot, so... Long way to go on that. And uh, lastly, Shiu defense. So, obviously I've cleared stable node, cleared the disputed node. The ambush node is our new permanent, um... What is it? Shiu defense mode. As uh, Obviously, as you can see here, I've been able to S rank the first four, but the fifth one, this is what I'm talking about. Both sides are weak to fire and physical, but then uh, they resist both ice uh, ice on both on both sides, and on the first side they resist ether, and that's not fun. Um, considering the only the only physical character, the only viable physical character I have at the moment is Jane, and technically I don't even have any viable uh, fire characters yet. Not at least not until um, Bernice shows up. So yeah. Leaving this alone until Bernie shows up and I can level up her ass. But that's no problem, right? No pressure on that. Where is where there is some pressure, however, is for these two. For Shiu defense. Um, the critical node, which again is the one is the one that resets, as you can see up here, every two weeks. So, um last reset, I was able to S7 uh, Shiu defense, or in other words, get an S rank on all seven nodes. This time, I don't know what it is, but I'm having trouble, as you can see here, I'm having some real trouble with, uh, this motherfucker. Um, these two specifically. 
Because the regular soldiers, the Jaegers, I guess they're called, um, these guys show, show up as the first wave. The, the, these guys are easy, obviously. And then wave two is the enraged sweeper. You gotta kill him. And then after that, you have to face these two motherfuckers at the same time. The issue I'm having with this, with these guys, is that, um... Because they spawn at the same time, yeah, obviously you have to kill them both at the same time, too. The problem is that going through the first two waves takes a lot of time away from you already. Like, even though these guys are easy, it still takes you about, it takes me about like 30 or 40 seconds to take them out. And this guy takes another like minute or so. So by the time these two, uh, two assholes show up, like, you only, I only have like, I'm already down to like, what, eight, um, like eight minutes 30. Right? A minute 30 is already passed. And, uh, since, since you have to finish a critical node within what what with with what at least five minutes still remaining on the clock that means that id like just just so you can split your time up even between the first side and, and second side um like ideally you shouldn't spend more than more than two and a half minutes on either side right i mean hell my best time fighting uh these motherfuckers uh the shadow theron guys that we see and i think um what is it in uh, the new um, fucking Blazewood chapter, I think, right? Because I think they show up as enemies. Um, these guys take me a minute thirty, or a minute and a half, technically over. So that's not even that's that's not great either. Um, but my real issue, going back to the first side here, my real issue is that this motherfucker, the Guardian Mark II, the bigger robot, the one that kind of drops down a, a, like like five seconds after the third wave spawns on first side. Um, this dude always runs away. Like, if these two, if these two robots, like, grouped up all the time, then it wouldn't be as big of a deal because, you know, with a proper AoE, you, you can hit both of them at the same time. But this motherfucker always runs away and just shoots rockets at you all the fucking time that do, like, half your HP and damage. Which is bullshit. Um, so yeah, this, I, I, I've legitimately molded at this, 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 uh, first side of S, what, S5? Yeah, uh, the S5 node, or the fifth node of Shu defense. Um, like I've been trying, which is why I'm focused. I've been focusing on um, what is it? Leveling up the skills for Qingyi and Zhu Yuan. See if that can make a difference. Uh, also, I'm really gonna have to switch out uh, Rena's uh, set to an up uh, to, to her actual proper puffer electro set because she's on the wrong set right now maybe that has a you know has something to do with uh, me not be able to get through this node as, quick, as quickly as I should be uh, I don't know I guess we'll find out but yeah uh kind of sucks knowing that I was able to fully clear Shiu defense uh, last cycle but then this cycle fucking uh, the fifth node is kicking my ass. Like I would understand if the second, if the if the seventh, if was out, if I was having trouble with the seventh node here, and obviously I am. Look how much time it's taking me to, you know, take out these guys. But like on on the fifth node, and even stranger is the fact that I st I was able to s uh, s rank, um, the sixth node. Right, though just barely. You can see here I, I barely had like what like. 20 seconds span? I shouldn't say barely. 20 seconds still a nice little buffer. But, yeah. S5 and S7 are eluding me at the moment. And that sucks. Um, and Bernice won't be here fast enough uh, to really help out here, I don't think. Because the operation, uh, or the cycle resets in, what, 11 days? And I believe Caesar also has 11 days left? Yeah. So I'm assuming Shiu defense will cycle at the same time as we get Bernice. So I won't have enough time to get Bernice like all leveled up and ready to go. Um, to use her for the sake of Shiu defense. So I kind of already like come to terms that I'm not gonna be able to S rank um, the seventh node. Right? But like maybe I can still get something done with uh, the fifth node? I don't know man. Like, I should be able to, to clear, the, to S-rank this, but I just can't. Mainly because of these motherfuckers. Maybe there's like a, tr like a, like a, um... Like a CC trick that I should be using here that I'm not aware of. I don't know. But I'll try to figure something out. 
But in any case, I've been yapping for long enough. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed um, the Z3 video. Uh, I guess I should be fo showing off like how much progress I've been doing for like just like the Officer Mew Mew stuff, but I'll show that off next month, I guess. Just a quick little run by here to check out everything here. Also, I haven't really gone through Blazewood yet. Uh, obviously, I haven't finished the Blazewood story because I'm busy with other stuff. <laughs> Read uh, busy with other gotchas. So. Yeah, lots been good. Lots have been, uh, lots has been happening in the Gacha world so far. So, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll catch you guys next month. Next month, peace.